The microwave high voltage capacitor works with the diode to convert the alternating current power output of the transformer to direct current, doubling the voltage to nearly 5,000 volts. The high voltage powers the magnetron to heat the food. If the capacitor is defective, the entire high voltage circuit will stop working and the microwave will not heat. There are two tests you can perform to help determine if the capacitor is defective. The first test will show if the capacitor is capable of storing and then releasing its electrical charge and can be performed using an analog style ohm meter. Before handling the capacitor, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge to avoid injury. Place a screwdriver or pliers with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. Be very careful not to touch the metal portion of the tool when doing this. Now rotate the range selection dial on the meter to a setting of 1000 ohms or higher. If necessary, calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. Now use a probe to touch one of the capacitor terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. The meter needle should deflect toward zero ohms and return toward infinite resistance. Reverse the probes and you should observe the same result. If the needle does not move or stays near zero ohms, the capacitor has failed. A standard ohm meter can also help determine if the capacitor has shorted to ground. Place one probe on each of the terminals while touching the second probe to the side of the casing. No terminal should display continuity. If the meter does show continuity, then the capacitor has shorted and will need to be replaced. A second test will allow you to determine if the component is operating with a proper capacitance rating by measuring the microfarads. For this test, you will need a capacitor tester or a multimeter with a capacitor testing function. Before you begin, confirm that the charge in the capacitor has been released. Note the microfarad rating on the component and choose the appropriate setting on the tester or meter. Now contact the probes to the terminals and observe the microfarad reading. The reading should be close to the rating on the capacitor. If the reading indicates a low level of microfarads, the capacitor will need to be replaced.